internet. Today we're going to vacuum mold some trays out of this ABS plastic. These are the frames that we're going to use to lock it in between and trap the air underneath it for vacuum molding. Be sure and wear safety equipment. <laughs> Don't cut that out, that's just comedy. You gotta keep the comedy, huh? Mm. <laughs> vacuum forming is a simplified version of thermal forming where a sheet of plastic is heated to forming temperature stretched onto a single surface mold and forced against the mold by vacuum this process can be used to form plastic into permanent objects such as turnpike signs and protective covers suitable materials for use in vacuum forming are conventionally thermoplastics. The most common and easiest to use thermoplastics is high impact polystyrene sheets. But the best way for you to understand how this works is to watch it in action. Watch this. I use an aerosol release agent for this mold to keep the hot plastic from sticking to the mold. A uh, respirator is actually recommended for this product. Please use it with caution. Usually the plastic is pretty well defined by the vacuum mold itself, but it does help sometimes to manipulate the plastic some by hand. I usually leave the vacuum sweeper running until it's cool enough to touch, and then once the vacuum sweeper is turned off, the plastic will hold its shape. Okay, that's how vacuum forming is done. I hoped you learned something from this old hillbilly. And if your questions didn't get answered, leave me a message in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer it. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash down on that subscribe button. So from my family to yours, have yourself a great day.